All right, welcome to the video. This is my Wabi Classic. It's a 2018 model. I did a video a long time ago showcasing some 32 millimeter tires on this bike. I want to do a follow-up video just to see how big of a tire you can actually fit inside this frame and inside these road calipers. Since then I have some better road rim brakes that allow for a much bigger tire. So now the only limiting factor is the frame. Let's go ahead and get this in the stand. All right, we got the bike in the stand. I do have this trusty caliper right here. It doesn't work over here, but we still got the little tick marks. So these tires are the Wabi Sub 15s. They're a very narrow rim at 12.6 millimeters internally. And we've got a set of Continental Grand Prix 5000 tires in 28 millimeters. Let's see how far they blow up. Right at, see they're right there, right at, they were right at the 25 millimeter mark. So this bike right now has 25 millimeter wide tires on it. Even though they're 28s, they only blow up to 25 because the rim is so narrow. And let's take a look at this clearance. We've got plenty of clearance with these 25s in there. They say they're 28s, but they're actually 25s. Tons of clearance with 25s. So with 25 mil tires, of course, tons of clearance. No surprises there. We do have some Panaracer Gravel King semi-slick. These are in a 32 millimeter width. And they are, again, on the Wabi standard wheels. The Wabi standard wheels are very narrow. So it's actually at like 28 to 30. So these, let's call, let's call these 29 millimeter wide tires. These are 32s, but because those wheels are so narrow, these are only 29 millimeters wide. Let's get them in and see how they look. All right. So again, they are coming up pretty close. There's not a whole lot of room on top. There is five millimeters of, there's barely five millimeters of space on top. This is a five millimeter Allen key. So this is pretty much the limit. So I actually had the brakes open like that. So if we go ahead, so if we go ahead and close the brakes, we actually have enough clearance on top now. A lot more clearance. Clearance in the side is good in the back. Decent clearance on top. Better than last time when I did that other video. A little closer in the back. But overall, nothing to really be worried about. So a 29 or a 30 millimeter wide tire, you'll be just fine as long as you don't have a lot of knobblies on there. If they're relatively slick, like these Panaracer Gravel King SS's, you should be good. One final thing I want to do, I want to take these wheels that are my Wabi CX Urban wheels from my Thunder, which are a much wider wheel with a 32 millimeter wide road tire. I want to take these and see if we can fit them on the Wabi Classic. So first things first, let's go ahead and measure them and see how much, how wide they actually are. Right, let's see. And it looks like they're coming up right at 32 millimeters exactly. So on an 18 millimeter wide rim, a 32 is a 32 and a 28 is probably a 28. So this is a true 32. Let's see if it fits. True 32. What's the clearance like? Barely, barely any clearance in there. And these brakes have a lot of clearance too, but it's not the brake calipers, it's the frame. It's the top. That's the clearance we got in the frame. So yeah, it barely fits. I would not run 32 millimeter tires. True 32s in this bike. 30s are where you top out. Anything wider than a 30, a true 30, a measured 30 with, with one of these, you gotta measure them. Just because it says 30 doesn't mean it's 30. Remember, these were also 32 millimeters, the Gravel Kings, but they measure at 29. These GP4 Seasons, on a wide rim actually measure 32 and the back doesn't even fit i can't even get the wheel to spin well i can barely get the wheel to spin and we have no clearance or barely any clearance look at look at how close that is that is way too close for my comfort level now one thing you could do if you have a longer chain than i do you can run the wheel all the way at the end of the dropouts and now Got a little bit more clearance. Again, not much clearance. 
Definitely have more clearance here. But I don't know if I would do this. I just stick to smaller tires. All right, so it looks like the bike really maxes out comfortably at 30 millimeter tires. You could squeeze a 32 millimeter in there if you want, but 30 to 32 is not a whole lot of a difference. That extra two millimeters is not gonna mean much. Going from 28 to 32 is gonna be pretty big, but going from 30 to 32, it, I'd say just stick with 30. It's gonna give you a little bit more breathing room, especially if you're running brakes, which you should be running brakes, and you can still do most of the things that you can do on a 30 millimeter tire that you can do on a 32 millimeter tire. For me, since I don't really ride any gravel, and I'm pretty much riding on the road all the time here in New York City, I'm gonna to stick to 28s. The interesting thing is a 32 millimeter wide tire on a super narrow rim like this, the Wabi regular wheels, is probably gonna be just the same as a 28 millimeter wide tire on an 18 millimeter wheel like the CX Urban wheels that come on the Wabi Thunder. So 29, 30 millimeters, that's where the spike is gonna max out and that's probably where it's gonna be best optimized. I wouldn't go wider than that. And honestly, I'm gonna just try to do some light gravel on some 28 millimeter wide tires just to see if it gets the job done. Because I really enjoy running on 28s as opposed to 32s. I find they're faster, they're more agile, and they still soak up the road vibrations. 32s are only really good if you're in the deep really rough roads, really rough gravel. 28s can do 90% of what 32s can do. So for me, for this bike, I won't really be going too much wider than 28s. I may go up to this one, which is really a 30 millimeter tire. And if I'm actually wanting to be playing around in the rough stuff, I always have my Wabi Thunder and I could also get a true gravel bike that can fit super wide tires and disc brakes and wheels. That's just the right tool for the job. I wouldn't want to take this single speed I wouldn't want to take the Wabi Classic on a true gravel ride anyway. Maybe just some light gravel paths, which let's be honest, as long as you're not running a 23 millimeter tire, you should be good on. So I hope this helps. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.